After a two-year COVID-19 pandemic break, the Sinulog Festival and Fiesta Senor are back on the streets. For the first time, the grand highlights on January 15 are leaving the center of Cebu City for the South Road properties. With just a few days to go, Cebu residents ask, is the city ready for the Grand Sinulog move? The Cebu City government, in collaboration with the Sinulog Foundation Incorporated and other local government units, hopes the Sinulog will bring back tourist arrivals to pre-pandemic levels. From music festivals and parades to novena masses and other religious gatherings, the entire celebration is expected to help boost the province's economy. More than 300,000 devotees joined the two-kilometer walk with Jesus along Osmeña Boulevard in Cebu City. Cebu City Mayor Mike Rama leads the launching parade for the Sinulog Festival celebration. Fifteen contingents from different parts of Cebu Island compete at the Sinulog Sakabataan Festival Dance Showdown at the Cebu City Sports Center. We now declare one Cebu Island Sinulog While everything is going according to plan so far, the mayor's ambitious move may put the celebration's highlight in jeopardy. And SRP will be the venue for the Sinulog 2000 Sinulog 1 Cebu. It's muddy, it's wet, it's still under construction. This is the venue for the Sinulog 2023 festival where over thousands of Cebuanos and devotees from around the world are expected to converge to celebrate the Senor Santo Nino or the Holy Child Jesus. The Cebu City government has four days left to finish construction work at the South Road properties near City de Mare to ensure that all of these devotees and Cebuanos will be able to enjoy the festival celebration. Many residents complained about the possible traffic congestion and weather issues that might arise by having the SRP as the venue for the celebration. Cebu Governor Gwen Garcia echoes these complaints. There should be a longer time for planning. They are rushing to finish the infrastructure, but it's not just, it's not just about infra. What about amenities? What about the impact on traffic? And what about security. In an update from the Cebu City government, Cebu City Councilor Jerry Guardo says facilities at the venue have been prepared and that they guarantee that the muddy terrain won't affect attendees. Rama says he respects Garcia's comment but asks to be given the opportunity to finish all that they prepared for. For now, what's clear is that there will be dedicated buses to help bring devotees from the city to the venue. There will be no street parades and drinking of liquor allowed and the construction works for the Sinulog 2023 festival at the SRP will not cease before it's completed. We are continuously, some done, some 90, some 80, but definitely we are over 50% and we are ready to march finishing. Sinulog's big day is on Sunday, January 15. Will the city be able to finish its rush preparations on time? John Sichon, Rappler, Cebu.